CISSP is that one that is well known, it's well respected, and honestly, that's one of those exams that is really just weird. Um, <laughs> the way that they ask questions on that exam is completely weird to me. Um, but yeah, I, I got that exam back, I passed that exam back in 2009, around the same time I had just finished my master's degree as well. Once I had that CISSP job offer started coming in, in the you know six figures and above. Um, so it, it definitely changed things. Now, is it because of the certification? I don't think it's because you could pass the certification exam necessarily. I think one of the things that makes that certification so valuable is that you have to prove you have five years of experience to be able to get that certification. And then you have to pass this really hard exam too, right? But it makes it really, really easy for HR because when they're going to hire for something, they can go, is this guy a CISSP? If he is, I know he has at least five years experience in IT and you know, he knows something about cybersecurity, right? And so it becomes a really, a really quick way for them to differentiate candidates. Um, and because the pass rate on that exam is fairly low, um, the average pass rate is around 20 or 25%. Um, even if you put people through a boot camp with really smart people, about 20 to 25% will pass out of that course on their first try. Most people take it two or three times till they pass. And because of that, you know, the, the lower the pass rate, the less people who have it, the more valuable it becomes. So if you compare that to something like uh, Security Plus, um, I don't know if, if you've checked out cyberseek.org, you go in there and you look at Security Plus and there's five people with Security Plus for every one job, right? And then you go look at uh, CISSP and there is 1.2 people, for, or I'm sorry, there was like 0.9 people for every one job. So there's more jobs than there are people who are qualified to take those jobs, right? And if you go look at like CISM and CISA and the different ones, you can actually see which certifications are actually more valuable in which area of the country you are. Um, again, if you're outside the U.S., this doesn't help you much, but for those inside the U.S., it's a great website. Uh, they can go in and they actually are pulling that data from the job postings that employers are putting out there and the requirements they're asking for. It'll give you salary recommendations. It'll tell you career paths to get into those jobs, all that kind of stuff in that website.